yeah, you're recording on. Now. Oh, is it? Am I? What's going on, y'all? My name is Jason Loria. This is Jason Gomez. Hey, boys. And, uh, you know, we're just driving this car. It's my car. It's the EP3 2002 Honda Civic Si. Turboed. This is a uh, stock K20A3. Nice. Uh, replaced injectors. I have a 1,000cc injectors. A Turbo Netics ball bearing turbo. Yeah, dude. You pretty much got a fucking nice setup. So you're like, what, two, you're 260 horsepower? No, two. I'm 288 horsepower. I didn't know you were 280. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm doing uh, 288 horsepower. I got a tune from Church's Automotive in uh, Wilmington. Cool people. I love them. If you go over there, if you get a tune, you get it done by uh, Daniel. Yeah, he's a cool guy. So, uh, how long have you had this? I just about a year. I was gonna, it's gonna be a two years now. Okay. So immediately, my reactions when I first drove this was the same as I, as I had right now was that your fucking shifter is so short. Oh yeah, I have a buddy club short shifter in here. We've replaced the uh, sh shifter cable bushings and uh, shifter uh, shifter base bushings. They're all ceramic. Really short, like, it's like, it's so short, you could rip it in, dude. Dude, it's awesome because at first it was like, a lot of people with EPs, they say that it's really loose and it's a long shift and it's like, one of the most necessary mods a lot of people say for this car would be the BCC short shifter. So this is, this is, a, is it a stock clutch? Everything's stock? Everything's stock. I still need to upgrade the clutch. Uh, I've had a, I've had it replaced before though. Like it's actually fresh because my, my original clutch went out. My engine went out. In the last video you guys seen, it, it obviously went out. Everything when I first bought it just shit itself. Literally. I was so pissed, man. And then uh, I got my engine done at um, this place called King's Automotive at Rialto, California. Anyone's okay. out there, they, they do good work. Uh, they, they have K20A3s out the ass, like lined up, cheap too, good people. I forgot their names exactly, but he's a good guy. He's black also. <laughs> Brian? So when do you... When does your turbo kick in? Like what, what RPM? Um, I would say like near 3,000 to 4,000. Like I guess I'd say like 30, 33. A little blow off? That's yeah. nice, dude. It's dope. I really like, dude. Honestly, for a daily, I can see this being so much fucking fun, dude. Uh, yeah, it's, it's tons of fun, man. It's, of course, you get into your, like, your problems, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a lot of maintenance keeping up your car, you know? Yeah. I had a fucking turbo, man. Oh my god! I wouldn't even have to switch cars. I wouldn't have to get something else faster. Like just, just the blow off valve is such a satisfying sound. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Definitely. so satisfying. When I first turboed my car, I was like, dude, what is this noise, bro? Because I was driving, and then my windows were up, and I was like, why is there a high pitched squeal every time I let go of my fucking my gas? Oh shit! It's my blow off valve. I'm just going in, bro. I was uh. I got my car, like everything was installed at Cape Powered in Palm Springs. Cool people, dude. Really good guys. I had to go through so many mechanics at first to find actually a good person. Like finally, Cape Powered was the people that hooked me up, man. I went through so many shitty mechanics, bro. Don't trust your car with just anyone, guys. Yeah. Anyone. It's literally, you gotta know who you're going to because like, like they could say that they know all their stuff, but when it really comes down to it, they just a lot of people just want your money, man. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people, yeah, just want your money, man. It's really, it's really hard to find uh, really good mechanics nowadays. <laughs> You good? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking choked on my own saliva, dude. It's weird. Yeah, it's really hard to find your. Uh, that's why if, it's good to it's good to know you're doing your stuff. But like, like when there's big stuff and you're scared to work on it yourself, go to a reputable mechanic. I I feel like the only it's, it's kind of hard to get to fit. 
Okay. You go the same way. Oh yeah, because it's kind of far. It's farther and it's really tight. The reason why it's so tight is because I like I was saying, the ceramic uh the ceramic uh the replaced shifter cable bushings. Okay. And it's it's really tight to get into certain uh certain things. But then you know it's it snaps in when it's in there. Yeah, I don't know, it does, it does. Yeah, it feels really good. I really can't find any anything wrong with the car. So what kind of coils do you have? I have a Megan's, I don't know if it's Easy Sports or Super Sports, but then there were the, literally, when you buy, when you get in the car scene first, I gotta tell you guys this first. Get coils first, yeah, before dude. rims. Literally, it'd make your car look so good. When I first joined the crew, you guys said that all the time too. Yeah, dude. Don't, don't go springs, because I was contemplating springs. Uh, you guys were like, no, no, don't do it, dude. Waste the money. You're yeah, going to go coils dude, anyways. Yeah, dude. You're going to go coils anyways. Literally, literally, if you guys go springs, it's cool. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, certain, co uh, certain like, spring setups, they're fucking perfect, dude. Yeah. They're perfect. Right fitment, yeah. Yeah, right fitment and everything. The only downside about it was that that's... All you're gonna get. You That's can't it. go lower. Yep. You can't go higher. Unless you cut the springs. Unless you, know, you cut you the cut springs. It? But then cut. All right. Cutting springs are extremely dangerous. Yeah. Extremely dangerous. Like say that you're driving on the freeway, right? And then you hit a dip, dude. And you hit a dip, and you're just bouncing everywhere, dude. And your car, you're gonna be having like in like ridiculous steering, man. Yeah. And it's gonna be really difficult to catch yourself. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, man. Don't put yourself in danger. Don't like that. put yourself in danger. Literally, I know so many people that spun out on freeways, hit like, just damaged their whole right side of their car, left side of their yeah. car. The BRZ. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, invest your money in parts that are gonna keep your car going. Yeah. Don't, don't skimp on your car. It's an investment. It's definitely an investment. It's like your body. You don't want to put bad shit in it. You want it to live a long time. So. I'll be back. All right, babe. Be safe. All right, so since he's gone now, I can actually tell you what I think about the car. No, I'm just playing. The car is 100% sick. Um, he has some fucking dope ass wheels. Interior is super clean. Um, a lot of people have like some really, really bad thoughts as towards like this generation of Civic. Really, really different. And I always make fun of them. I always say he has like a like a Odyssey, a Honda Odyssey van. To each their own. Everybody has their own build. You know, you can't really bash on someone. If he likes it, it's his car, man. It's not yours. Honestly, this is a fun car. Just hearing the blow off, hearing the boost kick in, it's just it's just a nice feeling, you know. And like I gotta say, like this is like a really fun car to drive. I've driven it before, but like you know, every time I get in, it feels like it feels even better than the last time. If there's like a difference within like between my car and yours. Yeah. Um, main differences is steering. 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 Look at this, dude never gonna get out of here i know like when 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 you're in your car dude like uh -huh. it's super comfy you know what i'm saying yeah but i mean like you're you're going i mean like a car that's brand new yeah something yeah. that's this is worn in you know yeah, definitely worn like in. this has been through a lot of miles 14 years dude dude i mean for for how long you've had it and how good i didn't take that as smooth as i want i wished i did he just scraped my bumper. I'm trying to fucking not do yeah, it. Yeah, my Mugen front end, bro. I'm sorry, dude. I'm just kidding, Tiger. <laughs> it happens all the time, bro. That's if right. you guys also, another good tip is that shit happens, man. Yeah. All the time, bro. Yeah. And, like, don't be scared to drive your car because, like, no matter what it is, it's, like, if it's, like, if it's meant to, if it's going to break, it's going to break. Get it fixed as soon as possible, you know what I'm saying? I love that, dude. What do you feel like the cons of this car are if you were to tell yourself before you bought it? Like, what would you warn yourself about? All right, when I first bought it stock, I know every person that has an EP is going into this problem right now. One of the most, the weirdest things that happened is that uh, on the side of the bumper, there's usually lights, right? And really? then everyone's bumper lights always came off. Oh, you're talking about those side so panels, those, ones, the yellow ones, Yeah, right? the okay, yellow yeah, long yeah, ones. Yeah. Everyone's came out, and they were so hard to find, dude. If they never had those lights in general, it would have been cool. Another negative thing I'd say is the is the, the long shifter. So it's, the long shifter is weird. I like the different, like, the fact that it's up top. A lot of people oh, say it's people weird. A lot don't like it. Yeah, it's, a lot of people say it's definitely weird. It's definitely a but it's, uh, different taste. It's different, you know yeah, what I mean? That's what I like, you know, it's super different. Yeah. And um, I'm always that kind of guy that likes uh, hatchbacks, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I like the big roominess of it, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, 100%. And it, it's so comfy driving. I feel like, I'm a big dude, you know what I mean? You're a big dude yeah. too, you know? Like, we can't be in small cars like no, S2000s no, or whatnot. No, 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 no. Like, when 
I when I got into the scene, dude, like before this car, bro, before this car, guys, I used to drive a 2003 Honda Civic Hybrid. Eight, so eight, eight. slow, guys, like <laughs> literally. But it got the job done, you know what I mean? <laughs> I used to go to like LA for like four bucks of gas, dude, and it was Holy solid. Holy shit, bro. are you serious? Yeah, dude, it was oh tight. Oh my God, I wish. The only problem was is like, like it was so boring to drive and i didn't love my car it was just yeah. a tool yeah. you know what i mean yeah but when you get into the scene you know what i mean the car becomes a part of you exactly one of the things i said on my on one of my other videos was there's times like to show love for your for your stuff like especially for cars like most people will like when you're walking away from your car you look back oh definitely dude. all the time all dude. the time one of the things that i don't like about the car right now is that rattle on the wing i actually have a it's a replica because it's really hard to find uh, that wing specifically that's real right now for me and I'm, I'm kind of in a budget but like that wing right there is always rattling if you can hear it you know that yeah dizzy, 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 dizzy. yeah but then yeah easy like 3m tape would help it out Whenever you're building a car, there's there's like there's an end, but it's so it's so hard to reach that end because you keep like finding yourself no to shit. wanting to put more yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like you're like, oh, I just want some coils and an exhaust. It's a never ending hole. Yeah, never ending <laughs> hole. That's definitely <laughs> never ending hole. You enjoy it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you meet new people, like yeah, all these dude. people at car meets, bro. Like, dude, I I never know that I'd be close to Fism or yeah. uh, Jason Jake Gomez. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Then you know, like the car community just made us into like brothers you know what i mean yeah dude 100 definitely and it's like there's so many people out there like that share the same love for you guys like for the same thing you guys have and instantly you guys would connect and whatever car you guys drive look up in forums talk to other people they're yeah. all there's always cool people there to look out for you you know what yeah I mean? like they'll like if you have any questions you could ask gomez go yep. ask uh if you if you drive fb6 if you drive fp uh ep3 Hit up Gomez. I'll, I'll love to answer you guys' questions as well. Yeah. My name is Jason Valoria. And yeah. The Jasons. Yeah, the Jasons. Fucking love that blow off valve, dude. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. I don't want to hit so many cops around. There's so many cops around. Shit, I shit my pants every time I drive. Why? And then, like, I drive, my blow off valve comes off, and I see a cop come by. I'm like, oh, please, <laughs> dude, don't pull me over. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't race, guys. I don't race. I just Both like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but I did. I, I I adjust my seat. I sit up straight. Dude. Close as fuck. I take off my hat, dude. I don't look like a dude. I'm like a normal, like really good citizen. Oh you know my god. Like guys, I pay my taxes, man. Like yeah, come on. Dude. Well, 100%, dude. I I I like. The, I love this car, dude. It's fun as shit to drive. A good daily and has a lot of personality. And I mean, I can't bunk a single part on this car. Like, it looks hard as fuck. Thanks, man. Tried my best with all these parts. There's so much things that definitely the journey to like getting stuff done, it, it does gives you headaches. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like, when it's finally on, you have that like, ah. Oh. It's like an orgasm. Do you feel like there's anything else that you might feel like you need to put on com coming up in the future? Uh, anything you're looking into getting? I'm definitely looking into getting a rear lip. I know like I don't I have my side skirts and my uh, front end definitely get looking into getting a rear lip there's a specific one I'm looking into getting uh, uh, the HFP uh, the HFP the, the rear lips and I need to get new side skirts they're punk ass side skirts that's for sure like of course to the naked eye it's all right you know what I'm saying yeah but like uh, like to people in the EP community is like oh this is brand new side skirts yeah yeah but definitely your car is hard too man Thanks, dude. Definitely. I appreciate it. It's a, it's a monster truck and it's a hybrid, but 
It's all right. It's all good. We're all repping LV, baby. That's right, dude. LV all day. Thanks, bro. I no appreciate problem. this little ride. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was the Jasons. See you next time. Deuces. Cut that out, please.